Welcome to the 10th World Health Summit 2018. What epidemic will break out next? To improve global health, we have to improve cross-sectoral partnerships between science, business, politics, and civil society. Because health is a human right. Now, uh, we are going from highlight to highlight, but I can assure you the next highlight is short. Uh, and the introduction is also short, but important. Uh, you have mentioned the young people. We have a Young Physician Leaders Program. Nominations from the 130 Academy of, of Sciences and Medicine come into the Secretariat. We select 20 for management courses and for tutoring and mentoring here in Berlin uh, before the meeting and after the meeting and during the meeting. And uh, these 20 people who are here in the audience, will you please stand up just to move a little bit and uh, people look around. Where are the young physician leaders? And in the last three days of training, they have selected one person who can express her wishes to the World Health Summit and the establishment of global health in two minutes. And this is, uh, this is Özge Karada Tashaman. Why don't you come up already? And uh, <clears throat> she has studied not veterinary medicine, but real medicine in uh, Istanbul. And she has worked already with some United Nations organizations. And she is going to tell us what to do in the future to satisfy the young people. Thank you. Distinguished global health leaders, dear honorable guests and dear colleagues. First of all, I would like to thank the summit organizers for giving us, the young physicians, a chance to express our hopes for this meeting. As a young physician, I sincerely wish in this World Health Summit that we will leave aside individual countries and boundaries and focus solely on our planet. And I wish that we will talk more about sustainable development goals, but discuss action rather than only theory. I hope that we will talk more about vulnerable and disadvantaged groups, how to empower them, how to increase their participation in healthcare delivery, and how to decrease health inequalities by sharing our resources, experiences, research findings, best practices, and know-how. In this summit, I hope that we will be speaking more about social innovation and working together to benefit all humankind. I wish that we will discuss how to raise every single child on this planet as a world citizen who feels responsible for and acts upon the world's most urgent problems, such as the human-driven climate change and decreasing biodiversity. I also wish that we focus more on the One Health concept, because we know that human health cannot be sustainable without animal health, plant health, and environmental health. Therefore, I believe we need more discussion on concrete and evidence-based interventions to promote One Health and to implement One Health in all policies. Lastly, I would like to emphasize that most global health issues can only be resolved in a world where there is less stigma, less discrimination, more democracy, and more human rights. To conclude, I believe that peace is at the heart of all global health issues, and therefore, peace should be a sine qua non for achieving our global health goals. Thank you.